everybody and I hope you're doing well. Allow me to come back again to your screens um, trying to do a short video answering your questions that I've seen in the comment section. I feel like this is easy for me to get back to you sooner and also be able to expound in a very small video and also be able to release the video as soon as I can um, instead of me doing a whole video and then I have to go edit and then I have to like go, you know, publish it so that it can get to you. These small videos are easy. It's a one shoot video and then I release it to you guys so that you can prepare yourself before the interview is here. So I have been receiving a couple of interview, a couple of questions uh, in regards to Qatar Airways because as you know, they are recruiting worldwide and more so um, they're coming to Kenya. And there was this question, one lady asked me, can I wear pants instead of wearing skirts for the Qatar Airways interview? If you remember on the previous video that I did, we went through um, the invitational letter that they send you. We went through on the things that you're supposed to bring or carry and how you're supposed to wear, like what they recommend you to wear. Every time you are asked to go for an interview, read through your invitational letter, see what they are requiring you to wear and what to bring. So look, you know, read through and follow their details to, to the to, you know to the t follow their details to the t because um if you don't do that and for instance it's an emirates airlines interview and where you wear pants and clearly they say skirt then you for sure they'll know that you don't know how to follow you know details or you know you don't know you can't follow instructions if i do say so myself so for qatar airways they said your dress code should be formal business attire by formal business attire, they did not specify whether a skirt or pants. Um, they let it, you know, as simple as formal business attire. So if you're deciding to put on a, some pants, make sure it's a nice suit with some pants that goes all the way to your ankle length, that is nice and pressed. It looks nice. Make sure that the colors are not in the white color or pink. Make sure that the colors are in the dark color, like brown, navy blue, you know, um, black, maroon, those kind of colors. Um, I've done a video previously about what to wear um, and the taboos and things that you're not supposed to put on um, and do on the interview date. But I'm sorry, I did that video in Swahili way, 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 way back when I started doing these videos. My audience was targeted uh, my audience was majorly Kenyan people, so I, I spoke in Swahili, but I promised to redo that video in English because I've, I've had so many people get back to me and say, hey, can you please do it in English? Can you please translate or put subtitles? I'll try as much as possible to redo that video in English so that you guys can also be at par uh, by the taboos that you're supposed to all the things that you're supposed and not supposed to do on the interview, like dress code and stuff like that. So make sure that your suit is in the dark colors, black, brown, navy blue, maroon. Those ones are acceptable. The white ones, they look like you're going to a fashion event or, you know, some wedding or some, some, you know, some event, but they don't, they're not, they don't look good in an interview. And most airlines actually specify and say, keep it in the dark colors. So I hope I've answered your question. I'm gonna come back again with another question. I feel like this is easier for me to like get back to you in this like short videos so I can explain more and also like get these videos out as quickly as possible in, uh, 